think. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We left off uh, investigating uh, Renju's corpse. And that thing. <laughs> stuck in with us. Yep. Curious how this will progress now. We've been to here before. The other route. This route is our first time. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Hmm. Nothing special. Oh, it's on the second floor of the building? I didn't know that. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. Mm. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. We have a time of murder. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. That could be about two humans. 310? That could be like two adults. One of them. So like, what? Renju and then whoever killed him? So we need to get Renju's weight and then we can deduce. Uh how heavy the person that carried him was. What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. I'm investigating Mizuki. Staring at a lot of things. Still like the coolest lights. These jellyfish, I love them, dude. Corpse was strong. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Yeah. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. So that means he was probably killed elsewhere. Then they cleaned up all the gross shit and then brought the dead body here. So that means, yeah, whatever 310 minus ranges of weight is the weight of person left. So they brought his body here. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It yes, must sir, have been yes, considerably sir. difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Mizuki could have done it. She can carry a lot more than 150. I know that. Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Skinny motherfucker. That's skinnier than me. Analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. That's skinnier than me. Wait, so like what? 310 minus 158? So, we're basically looking for someone his weight. Yeah, a little bit lighter than him. What, 152? Yeah, but someone, someone, someone 152 Carrying someone 158 would be is that a difficult, I suppose. It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? Like, it's possible for someone lighter than Renju to have carried him, but it would have been, like, difficult. No, there are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renju was stabbed. How was he killed? Do we know that? Um... Kitchen oil drum. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, 152 minus 44 is 108. Okay. Let me check inside. Just because she threw the weight of it in there, I just want to make a note of that. What? There's something inside. Oh? This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. 
Let's open it. This, this is... watch. We know that from the other route that that watch is his. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Okay, so... Someone smaller than him must have been must have brought him here because my, okay so the bed right now the reason why they gave us the oil drum weight is because they put Renju's dead body in the oil drum and rolled him here you could be smaller and roll a heavy oil drum that makes sense 108 is pretty light though but still that's a possibility that that would explain why the wrist, wrist watch is in there Dragon's Palace, eighteen hundred. Isn't that pretty average? This is average. That's eighteen dollars. It's like eighteen dollars. It's not that bad. Being served at a maid cafe, after all, dude. Hold on. Yeah. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Heavy shit from a twelve-year-old. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, you think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. You are anything but weak. We have seen that. Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Sure thing. Beer keg. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Okay, so we got what? 165 pounds worth of kegs. That's too much to have been brought here in the elevator with Renju. Between his weight and those kegs weight, that'd be too much. That'd be the entire load of the elevator plus extra. So that I don't think they were brought here. I bet they were already here then. No way. What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. My guy. Oh, I've missed him. My arch nemesis, Kagami. I'm telling you, this is going to be the big bad. This is the guy. He's the main villain. I'm telling you. This fucker. Let me ask again. <laughs> Kagami. Kagami. <laughs> I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. Actually, it's more like ten between this time and the other time. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, his name is. Hey, you. What's your name? Seriously, it's Kagami. Stop bugging him. It's rude. Excuse you. My best friend, uh, Kagami, and I are having a conversation. We are, he's not my best friend, we are arch rivals. Well, yeah, besides him and me and Ota. Fun. What? Hey, like, Ota's my arch rival, but, like, Kagami's number two. He's also most definitely the evil villain, clearly. I mean, just look at his face mask. He doesn't want to be seen by me. I thought so. Oh, I'm sorry. Once this sorry is to over, hear that, buddy. get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. Oh, he knows my name. No, we didn't find anything today. They really don't even highlight this man as Kagami. Like, like a joke, obviously, that he's like <laughs> the big bad villain, but it also like high key concerns me. This fucker doesn't have a single person in the... Oh, they did put him in! Yes! Finally! Araya Kagami. 
Likes ear picks. Dana lines Afro's Karasin Taurus pass around what? Dislikes people that don't remember. <laughs> Here's a son to the, he's actually really cute when he takes the mask off and he's single. Good to know. Hmm. Skills pretending to be dead. The fuck? Okay, I was about to say it was like suspicious as fuck that he hadn't gotten like a page in the book here after the first interaction with him at the start of the game, but now that he's here, it's less suspicious. Me and my best friend Kagami. Talk to Mizuki again. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date. Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such thing. Hey. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really a- Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Dude, I don't know. Have I not looked at everything? I already did the oil drums, right? Yeah, I did the oil drums. Menu? How is that? Click on the trident. Not trident, like, oil drum. Is it that I need to click on it without doing the x-ray? Counter. Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Ah, okay, that's what I missed. What? Yikes, bro, what? Ugh. I his eyes are just open. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. And the elevator was used at 8.55, so like an hour and a half, hour before we were there. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Hmm. Strangulation? Correct. Hmm. I thought that was just shadow. clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any oh, indication of the murder weapon? Homie was choked out. Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause nice. of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. But more simply, Ugh. the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Ah, oh, that we sucks. TOD. Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So killed at 8. Brought here at 8.55, discovered at 10.20. Okay. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Good to know. Good to know. Nothing with these. There's a fucking hook. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. They drugged his ass? They drugged his ass. Yeah. His right eye's like wide open. But the left eye... I meant to left eye. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Yep, because he's bleeding. I think we've checked everything we need to. 
I agree. Mm -hmm. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. What do you mean? Is that Oda? Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Yeah, he's a Ota's dead. phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Probably. He's very predictable as far as where he is located. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Hmm. True. Fair. Can't reach her. You don't need to turn on the damn phone. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho? In the entertainment disc, Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about it. Oh, I know that Lemon place. Escape, Matsushita Diner, and Marvel. Let's head out. Okay. Yes. Investigating with Mizuki. This is the this is the timeline where we care about her. The other timeline we were kind of ignoring her because like, we weren't taking her along on investigations, but in this one we are. I do. That comforts me more, I would say. Oh, this is probably the first time we're Hello, welcome. entering Masashita. You're yeah. Mizuki, right? Otis friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. So, we, okay, so this is our first time meeting uh, Mayumi in person in this route. But we have been to Lemna uh, Skate already. something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Yeah, I don't think... Most of this I've already clicked on in this area. Refrigerator, I don't think I ever got a chance to click on. Kitchen. Yeah, I don't think most of this is going to matter to click on. Talk to Mizuki. Yeah, I am friends with Oda. I've been here a few times. Well, fair enough. Oh, Flatter her up. Stop, you charmer. But you're not getting a discount out of me. I knew you were uh, a pedo, Dante, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. I am neither. I swing both things. ways. I swing for both fences. I'm kind of a switch hitter. Oh, everything here is delicious. But my personal favorite is our omelet rice. Did you want to eat here? No. I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. I completely forgot. I wonder where he got off to. But he'll come back soon. Hmm. We never really got um, where Ota's dad is in the other, in the other route either. I've been my assumption for a while here has been that number ten would be him. But in the other routes, we never got an indication of where he is either. He said roughly the same thing. He always he does, runs off, then comes back. I'm beginning to have doubts about the management of this establishment. I as well. He went out early this morning. I don't know where. I see. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh. Well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Later. Let me escape. Err. Did we give Oda's mom a way to contact us last time? I feel like we didn't. I could just, it's probably not a detail that's important, but. Just a thought. 
sir. Here we are. Oh, what? Once again. Hey there, handsome. Excuse me? You didn't you didn't say that the last time I was here. I cannot even right now. Hold on, give me just one sec. Is she into us in this route? Bro, new route, new date. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. She's into us in this route. No way. I bet that means. Ah, oh, dude, new wife? Us go. Come on, it's just. Not too bad. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? No. Date, look! A cricket! Oh my god. Oh yeah, she does. I forgot about that. This painting is called Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons. Which part is supposed to be a dish and which part is supposed to be a demon? I I could make that fairly confident. Okay, and I've clicked on everything over in that direction before. I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like best friends. <laughs> We hang out, we party. We do not party. Hey, hey! Good. Do not party with an adult like that, Mizuki. You are doing well. The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. Lamo. Your dad hired the big boob bitch. Mm. Oh, yeah, totally. Not. You never think about like my boss getting murdered, you know? Oh my god, girl. Chill a little bit, Mizuki is right here. Like what are even the chances? That's like I'm sorry, the odds of hitting the lotto. But it was kind of lucky in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. Okay, you were really hot, but she is right here. She right. certainly found the bright side of this situation. No, oh, haven't Chill heard anything out. about that yet. The VP might take over. We might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job too, man. What am I gonna do if this place closes up? So anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Iris. Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Well, I... I... could go out sometime. Wow, dude. You disgust me. Am I not allowed to like women, Mizuki? What's wrong? Okay, yeah, that's oh, shit. Uh, my right, apologies. Never mind. Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. I have. Where do these people live in? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? Receptionist knows Ota too? Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Those are the ones no, you have doesn't. to watch out for. Huh? No, he doesn't. He has horrible Nothing. social skills. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Bro, why is she into us in this route but not in the other route? Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Hopefully it does. Okay, um, let's Zuki, go. let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah, where should we go next? Marble. 
to go see the one true waifu of the series. Mama. 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 No car conversations. Oh, we are outside. Last time yeah. that happened, we got attacked. You know about this place? Oh well, yeah, it clearly says marble right there, as you can see from the characters. Yeah, this is where I met Renshu for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. Mama. Ooh. Where is everyone? It's been like it's this for here. a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. Mm, that sexy soundtrack. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. Is this going to be the car accident? But Renju was in the car accident. A traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Okay. In the other timeline when that happened, Renju was in the accident. Now obviously Renju's dead. So does that mean someone else is gonna be in the accident this time around? Or is because it wouldn't have been mentioned again if there was no reason for it. No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where mm -hmm. you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Yeah, I'm Data just trying to help you out, girl. Who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Right. Clearly, from the nutritional content and the way that she bench presses, she is fine health Phys physically. She's getting the nutrients. I told you I don't want to. Why not? Because. Um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Really, now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Oh, this is going to be rough. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, no, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Good girl. Oh, God. Good girl. <laughs> hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? 
Hold on, I need to. Oh thank God. Oh thank God. Oh thank God. He was so relieved. <laughs> he was so relieved. Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward. But the four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Dante, honey! Long time yes, no see. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. Oh, oh, watch man. the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Better be your yeah, first time. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Aww. Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. That's a Damn. pretty wide range. Mom is a switch hitter, too. I know. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Promise. Got you. And more for Mizuki. Ah, don't be intimidated. Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Damn. Can you give me a book? I'll pass. Hey, yo. Mama, not in front of the 12 year old. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Okay, so that that's still... Oh, that triggers okay. us. Okay. Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So that, that was the case in the other route as so well. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Yeah, and we got this story in the other route as well. Was it this watch? Yeah, yes, that's it, be. it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. It was pewter, too. That we know, we know that now. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restroom. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, it's just... Um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. Hey, why are we leaving Mizuki? No, I don't like that. Don't leave Mizuki. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. Counting on you, boss. Oh, man. Are you ah, take her with us, bro. Here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Okay. Nope. Actually, I'm in agreement with Data here. This is that's a good call. That's a fair call. We can take Iris there, but not not a twelve year old. Bro, that's that's a little much. Date Date in this route making some smart decisions right now. Oh, we've seen this Who's scene before. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Ah, I'll then. kick both your axes. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? You bastard! Hey, Mama. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Our boy, Mama. So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before here. exchanging expletives. Name's Moma, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, Moma. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Actually, okay, this dialogue is a little different now. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Okay, I looked at all this stuff around here. Is this, um, curious if the ASAP figurine's still in here? What? Chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Yep, and then we get you triggered again. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Dante, wait. I did some research into the left. Yeah, okay. All the same shit. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that. 
Cop. Lying, thermal skin. I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Dante, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both worn. The sofa and ashtray. Oh, this is different. Hey, Iva, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. More about the sofa. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. What does that mean? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Although you are wow. an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Mm. Why you want to do that? Just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. So suggestive. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of evolver in this situation. Damn it. I'm not about to get taken up by fatso with the ice cream swirl here, am I? Yes, Mega Mind. Dante, a porno mag at your feet. What? I was so guarded. Hey, did you just shoot at me? What the fuck? Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Where the hell did homie pull out a full auto minigun? Dante, load a bulber with explosive rounds. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? Oh, that. Why? Just do it! Her hand. Wow. 
lock that in. Excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? Nice. Good work, Hyla. You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit! Hey, coward! I see you! Show your face! So it's a Jima. Of course, this is the first time we're meeting him in this timeline. Or route, or whatever it is. That's. Sejima, so. Congressman. What is this guy doing here? I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood. Six years ago, he, uh, he got sick in the head. He got sent to a special okay, hunt, and all... naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You want to know more? Hire a private eye. Okay, so that's the same as last time. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier when I said I didn't know her. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. Okay. What about Renju? I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. Now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something... You ever get into any disputes with Renju? Do right, hold on. I think it, I think it uh, skipped a line. Oh, no, it didn't. Work. Okay. No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf okay, tournament. Okay, yeah, they're at the golf tournament. Yep. <laughs> They were at the uh, golf tournament. Yep. Okay. All right, bitch. I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you going to spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. The victim prior to Renju? I believe MoMA introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. 
They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. The president of Lemnisgate? We aren't friends. But I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Mm, I, went I need a thermal scan on that. And then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Date, Excuse me, I'm taking a phone a call. call. From Connected. Date, it's me. What's um, good? Can you remember, like, how you said to call you if Ota came? Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima. I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. Are you serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iba. Roger. What? <laughs> we got new drinking buddies. Man, I like being cool. In the other in the other route I was cool with MoMA. We were tight. You know, we were kinda like brothers. Blood brothers. Bonded by Iris. This is all really suspicious. What is our conversation? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Oh. Who are you? Let's go through this bullshit again. Possible. How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny too. You are it. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Mizuki? It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then are you mom? Idiot. You must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway. Again with the dosage. Right? What 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 medicine am I on? Why are you here? Looking like that. I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image you're left with. Yeah, okay, we've we've been through this. Like we know this. Okay. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious, but there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from and their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Sure. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. Yes, and it's fucking dope. We've been doing it. Ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. That's the one that uh, got blown up with the chemical plant, where all the shit went the down. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district, adjusting for inflation. The land was valued above 30 billion yen. God damn. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. Okay, okay. This caused Kawasaki to become a restricted area. So they sold off all of their super 
super expensive land right before a chemical plant explosion. <laughs> Suspiciously like they knew it was going to happen. Of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, Sosajima purchased all of the land back for just 1 billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's sus as fuck. He, he said that shit up. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sajima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true. There is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed, oh, we will have off. to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call okay. from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from this? Is this the number 89 call? My name is Akaska. Should be right. HQ. There's something that yep. you need to take. What is it? We got a phone from a prison. Prison. Be safe. I think you should. Yep. Gucci prison call. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And you'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. So it's the same call as last time. He called him one number eight and he called it a he. And number two, he also referred to it as a serial killer. Now, in this context, in this route, that makes sense because there's multiple bodies, multiple killings. In the other route, it didn't make sense because at that time there was only Shoko's body. Which makes me question if there was another dead body that we hadn't found yet in the other route. I mean, obviously Iris dies, but... That obviously happens later after number 89 calls. I don't know. Just, That's just what I thought too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon before Reggie was killed. In other words, mm. you're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think there's anything to this? I don't know. But what I do know is I'm not having him in an interrogation room with Pewter, that's for damn sure. Okay, Oda and Iris should both be here, right? Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I just found out online. A corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki saw her own mom. And I just... I just left her. Yep. And regardless of the timeline, you are still a bitch for that. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Happy ass music play. What's good, girl? No problem. After all, it means we get to see each other again. <laughs> oh, did not like that shit? <sighs> You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But, despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. God damn, she's old. You're kidding. <laughs> Bro, you do not look 36. Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? 
I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like you. Soda. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. Is that going That's to be a fine. problem? What's a reptilian? Nah. Nah, I told you. I'm a cool reptilian that. humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. Nah, it's not a problem. She's recording a podcast right now. Looking at her schedule. It should end soon. Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. <laughs> uh, why did I expect anything different? I ate some ramen at Juro's and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. Yep, I'll, I'll check it out. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. Uh, I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's Seven bajillion degrees. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. What's good, Last man? night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? What? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um. Okay, look. My man hit seven I can billion tell you're degrees. trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got, yeah, it was Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. When was this? That's what matters. Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on pedestal. You clearly have not watched Odd Taxi. Tessa is a savior to me. A Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. Bro, what? <laughs> the first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. I mean, it's great when you're as hot as Iris, you can do that, but not when you're you, my guy, I'm sorry. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in yeah, yeah. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. What? Do it for Iris. Hey, oh, hey, we're using some. First of all, I. I Mizuki didn't Mizuki. <laughs> seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. 
What the fuck you want to call it? You ready, kid? Around 6.15, I guess. Okay, that's a while before the murder. That's like two hours before he dies. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. What did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. And then I sat there and cried and jerked off to my girl got in the car with another I man. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Oh shit. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Iris, do you have a brain tumor? <laughs> do you have a malignant terminal level case four brain tumor? <laughs> Oh shit. Boss is here? We're just straight up? I thought we just wanted to ask her some questions. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Hey yo, why is this so serious? She was seen like two hours before he was murdered with him. Please answer honestly. It's like time. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I mean, kind of. You don't have to. It just I looks have a worse to if you don't. This morning, so if I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Checks out. What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there, but the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before, especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Okira at 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iba? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Hmm. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iba, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She is okay. lying. So she, she's not, not lying. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. But with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris's story is true, she couldn't have done it. Why are we just assuming she's a natural liar? What the fuck? There is another possibility. Oh, this the baby girl? Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You 
mean? Huh? I'll oh, ask again. What? You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Mm. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Yo, can we stop questioning Iris, bro? I don't like that. Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but... How do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl! Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Well, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but... Strangling? Your boss. Stop talking about how people died. You're giving shit away. No, it's still possible. You see. Why is it so possible? Renju's Fuck. estimated TOD. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral. In short, Renju was yeah. strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. So because they used a cloth or a rope, it means they're not just using the raw power, they Iris have the leverage of that. Iris could have choked Renju to death. If you are searching for proof of this, you will not find it here. Oh, bro, what? The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxation upon death. However, no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. This means that it is... Oh, it's the sedation. Duh. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? It's a pulley system. What do you mean? Renju's corpse was just hanging from a- He was found. The wire- One end was a- The yeah. kegs hold a pro- Yeah, it's the- It's the kegs. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. You hook it into his mouth while he's laid down, then you pulley system that shit up and secure the other hooks to the kegs. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. Anyone with a physics one education would have been able to do that. Kegs weighed 55 pounds each. That's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris yeah, is the culprit, how did she move the body? She rolled it in the goddamn oil uh, drum. Hey! That's how. I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? 
goddamn oil drum, my guy. Boom. Wow. Oh. And Renji's watch. So I know he was in the oil drum because of the watch. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. We, we just didn't report that? <laughs> okay. We just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Your mom could also don't drive. Don't make a sudden outburst like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um... Who are you talking to? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. 105? I mean, yeah, we're looking for like 108, so that's about right. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. I mean, it's 105 if you round up Renju's weight to 160. Then it's like, yeah, basically correct. Why do you say that? Uh, Renju's weight. The elevator record. And the oil drum. The oil drum weighed something. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. 160 of which is Renju, which leaves 150 left, minus the oil drum, which was what, like 44, 45? So yeah, we're looking for 105 then. Renju yeah. weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310. This doesn't look good. Why are you... I mean, I just don't like that they're like just rounding numbers here. Like, at least just, like, it's like a three pound difference if you're being exact. Like, just call it good enough, dude. It's an elevator sensor. Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. True. However, cutscene. Dante, stop! Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Hmm. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. What's up? She's fidgeting around. Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? A mirror. She on 
her phone? Ah, shit. You didn't take her phone, my guy? Why didn't you take her phone before you started interrogating? Oh, it's a, they're cute. They're gonna, okay, I'm gonna tell. No. Nah. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? She was texting Oda. And he said, hey, I won't tell them about me, that Iris. thing. She's definitely hiding something, Date. We're going to sink? Sink with her. Yes, sir. Well, luckily, I've been in Iris' Somnium before. Three times, actually. Iris is experiencing Knocked her out, bro. How about it, Tate? All right. Think you can do it? Not a problem. I've played Get Shovel Forge. I've played time Shovel Forge before. Six minutes. So before time is up. I know. There's those warnings again. Let's begin. All right, Shovel Forge time. Let's go. Though. Hmm? This doesn't look like Shovel Forge. Where is this? What is this place? Those windows look like the chemical plant um, in the, the Kaaba whatever district where the chemical plant had the accident and in the iris batter out she dies when we tried to sing with her it looks depressing how is this related to iris unknown but there must be a connection iris what are you hiding tv somnium scan activate I've been looking for this, bro. TV, okay. The windows. A room. The wall behind me? Okay. Okay. Well, um. TV. Oh. It's a split route. No way, bro. Whoa, why are these both like bad shits? A Doors. Open. It doesn't open. Huh? We don't have a CRT. Um, spin dial. Nothing. Oh, what the fuck? These are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. What? The lady what is going on here. The lady didn't right look the same. But dude, oh, what? We should continue. There are more objects to expect. Oh. 
Well, I guess we chose a route. Stop a murder video. Now we got a times two thing? Strangle it. A full None of those are strangle. Torso? A torso. Or strangle torso? If it has a head. What would you call it? It's gonna make me use the times two thingy on something, so I'll go use it on this door. Right? Just waste the least amount of time possible. It doesn't open. The map burns the. Five minutes left, Dante. Right, that burns the time yet? Sir. Now we can choke it. Uh, Iva, you good? Bro, what the fuck is happening? Even my consciousness is being affected. While I was unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired oh, what is of this. going on? We have no choice but to investigate. Oh, all right. Moving, moving forward. It's creepy ass music. Beat it to death. Beat what to death? Body in the mirror. Full body. And punch it. And punch it. Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think. I have no idea. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Eat it up. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? I don't know. I saw beat it to death. Gun. Medicine bobble. Brain tumor. What the fuck is that? TV again? An old Oh, I should hit it. Um ah! Oh. Iris. What is all this? What is all this indeed? Four minutes. Huh? That wasn't it? I don't want to do any of that. What? A Medicine drug? bottle? Fuck it, chug that shit. Do not oh, I didn't use that. You. I Into didn't drinking use that alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, uh, no. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. An AI labor union? Sounds dystopian. I won't drink it. Fine. Okay, well I just wasted 40 seconds, I will. A revolt Is it real? It appears that way. A bunch of shitty power-ups. It just lets them in. I mean, none of my... A torso in the reflection. A torso? Not you? Is there any meaning to this? I can't say. But what is going on? Dang, I guess that's not anything. Three minutes, Dante. An like, bro? Fuck, bro, I'm turning the dial again.
Uh oh. Someone's watching the killings. That's someone in the back there watching. Is Iris watching the killings? That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. Wait, is Iris watching the killings? If they were six years ago, she'd be like 12. What the fuck? It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. What? Let's go. Well, there's so much shelf and shit. What the hell? Only a sh Push that shit. That shelf sticking. Okay. There's a ball on top. Is that about to fall on my damn head? Back up, Iba. Back up. Don't get retarded. A metal ball must have fallen off the shelf. Why would anyone put that there? You have less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. An iron ball. That's canister. A com. Give oh, great. We crippled her. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. Oh, a torso. A torso. Punch. Oh, yeah. It changed. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. Hit my soul hard enough. While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Let's hope you're right. Good, I don't have a lot of time left. Oh, okay. We locked down, we'll knock to go. That's the revolver. There's that person watching. of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even no. knows the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we I'll have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Just a lot. Open that bitch. Ah! Oh my. Iba? What? It's all right. More. What? Oh. 
kind of Rube Goldberg ass. I I'm assuming I did something good here. What the? This doesn't feel like how physics works, but it is Dream World, so I guess it doesn't matter. Sure, bro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is this? Uh huh. Yep. Makes total sense. Drop down. No shot. It's gonna launch him to explode. To explode? It fired the gun. That is. Does that work? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that is the fourth victim. The one with the big tits. Is that me? That's me. They did not just fucking... Bro, they did not... They did not fucking V3 me, dude. Gum AI. No shot, dude. What was that? What happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original psych- <laughs> No, no, nah, nah, what the fuck? Hold the fuck up. There was a split, right? What? I'm going up routes? I'm going further up. And then, yeah, there's a different route. Just be sure we're still locked over here. Yeah. Alright, shit. We're going up. Pop serial killers. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... Me. I need... I need answers right now. No bullshit. No bullshit. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. What? The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But 
This is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw insomnium earlier. Peter's spitting facts right there. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Computer, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Hmm. Okay, so what he's saying is that, like, basically, behind every fictional thing that you think of, there's some truth or reality that you're basing off of, some kernel of truth that's actually happening, and then you're imagining stuff from there. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. What? Just trust me. What kind of answer? In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. Well then. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, in some Iris capacity. Was Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Yeah, that's... I don't know about that. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. Mm-hmm. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Shut really? the fuck up, boss. No, no. There, really? there definitely is. No, that's bullshit. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Help me Bruh. understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Meaning it was me, because I saw it in his last reflection. He was... I saw... Your face. The original Cyclops yes. killer was... It can't be. It's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your life, so you steal them from others. Bruh. They V3'd me. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. No, really? I'm not comfortable with this. Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? I don't know, You maybe. interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. What, she's imagining me as the Cyclops killer because she was scared? I don't like that. Dante. It looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. What's up, girl?
Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer? From six years ago. Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams sure? are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. So maybe she has a repressed... maybe she repressed those memories. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Yeah, she she must be having them repressed, or she's just lying. One of the two. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot Damn. decline, Date. I yeah, that's fine. Let's take her home. Talk to her mom. I want to talk to her mom, bro. Gonna get a car conversation? Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. What? Why would we go there? You know Why about that Why do you know place? about it? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Maybe... Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. Alright, sure. Nah, nah. Who the fuck she taxed him? Who she taxed him, bro? Hell no. Okay. We're not outside of it, which means nothing fucked might happen outside. This bitch. She texted his ass to come. Oh, Ota. Oh, don't act surprised. No, I didn't tell him to come. He just showed up on his own. Bullshit. I was Niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marbles. I got here just before you did. Bullshit, exactly. Look, you just... I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. He just called you out on that bullshit. No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. <laughs> Just like Mama. This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. They're accusing me of a lot of stuff, they're gonna think I did it, it's okay, stay calm, I'm here for you, okay. I won't tell anyone about that thing, not even if they torture me, don't worry, I promise to protect you. Yeah, what are well, you not gonna tell anyone? What? what were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two widow thing, I swear I'll do it. Jeez, Damn. fine, just don't tell anyone else, okay? But... Before I tell you, who's that? I know my dumbass is not about to turn around. What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. 
Nah, don't turn around, bro. They're acting weird. Fucking knew it. Hey, yo. Iris? Ota? Why do you smile like that? Nah, what? The fuck just happened? Two forty eight in the morning. Where am I? Mama. It looks like you're awake now. Why the fuck did that little bitch tase me? Why did he smile like that? Why did he smile like that? Ota, the boy I asked to watch the bar? I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted mm. in safe mode and am now operational. I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. Oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Just like the old days. God damn, how drunk was I in the old days? <laughs> It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Three a.m., bro? Where are they? Date, the boss is calling. Uh, how am I gonna rest on this good. one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Ivan. What? 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 Iris? Nah, she breathing. She Iris. Breathing. That's that's the chainsaw from Okira, the the warehouse. He's in the cold storage. No, that's. I'm a source. Identify the Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Of course it is. Okiura? Of course it is. Focus. We need to get to the site now. Book it, bro. What the fuck happened to them while I was asleep? Where's Ota? What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. 20 minutes is the fastest. Please, please let okay. me make sure. That's not enough time, bro. Still breathing. <sighs> that sick bastard. Is that a plumber? Only in a costume? Oh, no. No way. He's revving it up. Tessa! Hold on! I'll see Ota? you! Ota! Stay away from Tessa! Uh! What the? What the fuck? What was the fuck was up with the plunder costume? She breathing? Wait, no, 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 wait, hold up. No, it can't. 
can't be. Wait a second. No. Stop. Her body's not moving like it's breathing anymore. There's no way, man. Her body's not ah. moving like it's breathing, though. Oh! Oh my... What? I did not just lose her again, bro. Is it a fake body? Is it a fake body? She wasn't breathing at the end there. Before, when it showed before in the live stream, she was breathing like her chest was heaving up and down, her body was moving. She wasn't breathing there. Sure, her body was motionless there. Bro, please don't. Please don't do this to me. Cars here. That looks like Ota's car. We saw that in the other route. Iris. What? A polar bear. No, check that oil drum. It, it lingered on that oil drum. Check that oil drum. Yeah. Why is Iris over in the corner? Who the fuck is dead? Ota? Ota. Oh no, bro. They killed him too. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? What the there you fuck are. is happening? Finally. I was looking all over for you. It's rare are they both dead? to see you down like this. Nah, nah, I need, I need autopsy. I need fucking CSI autopsy on that shit right now. I need to know if they're both actually dead. I, I need to know that that's not, there's no fake body go, bullshit going on here. I need to know that they're actually dead. What the fuck was that? But it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble and about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. Am I right? Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. What? So what, he, you're saying he was in the polar bear? I think, it, nah, he was, the, the polar bear went off screen and then Ota came on screen, that is true, but I, I don't feel like it's long enough for Ota to completely change out of the polar bear costume. I mean, granted, we didn't see them both on the screen at the same time. Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion yes, that Iris loved him too. But Iris yes, refused he was. Ota. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife. Killed her, then killed himself. He don't got the stones for that, dude. Like... Nah, he he wouldn't do that. Like as like as much as I hate Ota. Oh my god. But see what I mean? See what I mean, bro? She's not moving. She she is not moving right now, right there, not moving at all. So she's already dead there, completely unconscious or whatever, or that's a fake bot. But like earlier in the video, she's moving. Nothing there. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm concerned about. There's an, oh, 
he wouldn't harm Iris though. Even if she rejected him, he wouldn't hurt Iris. That's ridiculous. That doesn't make sense. Oto would never kill Iris. Exactly. How do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Oto's wasn't Just actually. Just like Renju and Shoko. Iris, okay, left eye out. Those three murders were definitely that. executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. Such as? What do you mean, such as? What do you mean, such as? Down here to there to there. Yeah, he had no Maybe he was thinking Andrew. like this. The reason Iris and I can't be together is because her agency prohibits it. Uh, that didn't stop me and Iris in the other in the other uh, timelines. Making the president Renju the ultimate bad guy in his mind. Mizuki is Ota's close friend. Do you really think Ota would kill his friend's father? His Shoko was yeah, married Shoko to especially. Renju. Maybe he was trying to get at Renju by killing her. That's a stretch. They've been divorced for years. Ota knows yeah, all no about sense. it. He wouldn't use Shoko to get to Renju. Ota showed himself on the stream. If he was going to kill Iris and then himself, why would he do that? The only reason you would show yourself like that is to prove that you weren't the culprit. Ota and the polar bear on the screen at the same time would prove that they're not the same person. That behavior would be totally unnecessary if he was going to commit suicide anyway. Well, maybe he wasn't planning on dying at first. After he killed Iris, he realized that he couldn't live with himself. So he lies what? down on the workbench and turns on the ice cutting machine himself? I don't buy no, it. He doesn't got the balls for that. I'm with Dante. I don't got. I don't buy that shit. The culprit was wearing a polar bear costume, probably to hide their identity. But if murder suicide was the plan, the costume served no purpose. There are some additional discrepancies. I analyzed the investigation report. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Hmm. So he was killed by something else, then placed in a costume, and then cut in half post mortem. Are you sure? I am. Oh, I know that. Well? Ota could have stabbed himself. Maybe he thought it would be a fatal wound, but when it didn't work, he went for the ice cutting machine. Then shouldn't we have recovered the kitchen knife from the scene? Maybe he threw it in the ocean. Boss, come on. No. Ota goes out to the wall, Bullshit. stabs himself in the gut, throws the knife over the side, then walks back to the warehouse? With no blood trail? No blood trail coming out of him? Nah. Bullshit. Well, I wasn't being serious. I didn't think Ota was the culprit from the beginning. I was just Good. playing devil's advocate for HQ. Really? Good. Yes, really. Anyway, Ota didn't kill anyone, and he didn't kill himself. Here's what I think happened. Stay away from Tessa! Ota knew Iris was kidnapped, so he rushed onto the scene. That's when he saw the culprit wearing the polar bear costume. He tried to fight him off, but ended up being stabbed in the side. He was weakened and losing blood at the culprit's mercy. The culprit forced him into the costume, then under the ice cutting machine, and then... Then, who is the culprit? I wish I knew. We're up to four victims. But Ota was a special circumstance. He wasn't specifically targeted by the culprit. Right. And he was the only one to not have his eye pulled out. So let's focus on the three that other means it victims. probably wasn't planned. Shoko, Renju, and Iris. What connects these three? Connections. Lemnus Gate? I guess. Well, Shoko's not involved. Just, she's only connected to Lemskate through Renju. 
Iris and Shoko don't really have a connection is the issue. Outside of Renju himself. If you find a connection between the victims, you find a connection to the culprit. That's the theory of investigation, right? You think the new Cyclops killer is related to them somehow? Maybe, maybe not. But it's a good starting point. Iris' mom? They tell me and Renju are definitely linked. Iris' mom should know Shoko, right? They were high school Probably. classmates. And she did say that she met Shoko twice. There you but go. I can't okay. imagine she would kill Iris in such a gruesome way. That no matter what fair. the circumstances were, it seems impossible to me. Mm. Oh, does mom. Mayumi had motive for killing Iris and Renju. Mayumi hated Iris, and she didn't think well of Lemnusgate either. And since Girl. Renju is the president... Anyway, the weak point is Renju's ex-wife, Shoko. I can't imagine why Mayumi would kill her. And above all else, yeah. she would never harm her only son, let alone kill him. Yeah. Renju and Shoko Mama. were connected to the Kumakuras, but there's no connection to Iris. Well, I mean, I already know from the other timeline, ain't no way Momo would ever touch Iris, bro. Not with a shot. Mizuki has the strongest connections with all three victims. Shoko and Renji nah. were her parents, and she was close friends with Iris. She was good friends with Ota, too. But that's why I could never believe Mizuki would kill all four of them. Thinking of her as a suspect is ridiculous. So... Renju, Shoko, and So. There is a connection between Renju and Shoko through the Kumakuras, but again, I can't see any clear link to Iris. Mm. Well, in the other timeline, we know that he meets up with her mom in some way, and that there is a connection between them. We just don't know. What, we never got to know what that was. I know Renju and Shoko, and I'm connected to Iris, but I have an alibi. Aside from Shoko, there's no way I could have killed any of them. No. Now that I think about it, Shoko too. I don't remember killing her. My memories from six years ago are missing, but I still have my memory of recent events. I mean, yeah, there was, Mizuki was with us when we discovered Renju and we were interrogating, we were doing her sink when he was dying. Or, yeah, we did her sink when she was dying, when Renju was killed. And like we were in the car with Iba watching Iris and Ota die. So yeah. And if I start doubting myself now. Date, I can say without a doubt that there is zero possibility you are the new Cyclops killer. But the I old one, I don't years. know. <laughs> I know better than anyone that you are innocent. Aw, oh, thanks, Iba. I thought it over, boss. Of the people I know, I can't peg any of them as the murderer. And no leads to pursue? No. Then there's only one thing you can do. Continue your investigation. Do whatever it takes to get the culprit. To get justice for the victims. You're right. Got it, boss. Bro, is this legit? They're dead? I can't even with Kagami right now, bro. I can't even. We're up to here. We have a new route. Started here. Got a new route unlocked. Made all the way to here. This is still locked, right? Oh, uh, we lost Iris again. 
pretty sick. Pretty sick. I am upset. In one of these routes, she will live. I swear. One of them. She's gotta live in one of them, bro. Stage four brain tumor or not. Alright. That's gonna be it.